Welcome to my channel. We are your them. Today is January 31st, 2024. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to put together all the conspiracy theories that I've been watching and reading, and I think I bought a house on Conspiracy Street. I don't think it's conspiracies, though. How can you look around at what's going on in the world and not know that we're, on, we're under some kind of plan. So I've learned about the uh, Black Hebrew Israelites. They call themselves the true Jews, and they want everybody else to die. By the sword! By the sword! And then uh, we've got the uh, a new one I just learned of is the Muslim Jews. Apparently, from a show I watched, the pact that was signed in 1776 was not signed as a you know, freedom for the United States. Apparently, this man says that it was the pact made basically with the devil. And uh, I really do think there's something to all this. It started about 2010. I did a video a couple of videos back about Catholic charities. I don't even know how they play into this whole thing, but I'm sure they do. In 2010, their lobbying amount went extremely high. I'm going to put a, uh, and, it's, and it stayed high. And as that has gone like that, I've seen society go down. I believe what is happening, if the 70, 1776 thing is true, or even if that guy's wrong, something is definitely up. It's been a long-term plan to take over the Western world, because it's all the Western world, so I would say the majority of white people. It's in all of our governments, it's in all of our schools, in the United States, and I've seen some in Canada, and I'm not sure how it is in the UK or Australia, but the drugs, the drugs, they've taken out a big, big, huge chunk of the uh, fighting age men, the ones that are migrating over our border right now, a, a large percentage of those in the United States that are white and black, whatever you are, if you're an American, uh, they've got them hooked on fentanyl and trank, and then I just seen a new one. Um, actually, the news report came out six months ago. Um, I don't know if I can find that video, but some, you know, they just keep coming with new drugs. Originally, LSD was brought here by the CIA. <laughs> and I was talking to my mom, and she said she really noticed things change in the 60s, and that's when they decided to do all their weird psychology brain games, uh psychological mind control and I believe they've succeeded <laughs> not with me unless I'm going down the totally wrong road and sex changing children is a good thing <laughs> I don't think so I think you're going to go down on the wrong side of history and uh, there's going to be a lot of whining and crying and boo-hoo when um, people get told that that was a complete lie and they were brainwashed how is our society going to feel if we're still around if all of these outside factions uh, don't take us over, you know, that I'm sure you've heard as well as I've heard how, you know, things will settle down when everybody's brown, you know, when we're all intermixed. Because the black Hebrew Israelites, they're still very upset about slavery. And I've been watching a lot of other black YouTubers and I read the comments and a, a lot of other people are too. And I'm really sorry that that happened. Slavery was a, was a normal thing. We're the ones that stopped it. You you know, if you wouldn't have been a slave in America, you probably would have been a slave over in, in Africa to another tribe. That's how the world worked. That's how it works for white people. That's how it worked for Chinese people. And that's how it worked for black people. And in Africa, if you really want to, you know, put your voices forth for your people, over in Africa, they're still selling slaves up at the top of Africa. I'll see if I can find a link and put it in there. But I did see an article about that. And, and, you know, I don't know who's right and who's wrong. I, or or I, I guess that's wrong. I know what's wrong. But you don't know who to trust in the world today. In the Bible, it says, beware of false prophets. I'm beginning to now see what they're talking about. I, I, uh, I do believe that the Jewish religion, the Islamic religion, and the Catholic religion have their hands in a lot of this. And now I'm seeing that maybe they're all together. 
and I and I uh, I don't know what the black Israelites you know I don't know and uh, I see Netanyahu I'm gonna bring up that article where he's saying oh yeah there's a place for them here they want white people gone by the sword by the sword <laughs> Uh, everything's all topsy-turvy, and I really do not see any answer for the situation. But the answer for America to start is to close our border. All those young men come in here, they're going to be marrying your daughters, and your daughters are going to be converting to their way of life. That's what you're fighting for. You're fighting for your way of life. Colonialism. And while all these people are screaming and hollering about colonialism... While they're bringing in all these people from other countries, what about their colonialism? What about their homeland? What about their birthright? They're encouraging you, if you're an immigrant, coming here during the year of 2020, I don't know, I guess it was from probably 2020 till two, now, it's 2024, you're throwing away your birthright to your country. You're, you're in no man's land. Like us Americans now, we're in no man's land. And they want us battling you, so we'll do each other off then the, all of those other lands will be cleared and nice. There won't be all of us people eating meat. You know, I guess everybody then is just going to eat bugs. What? They're And vegan. What is this? The black Israelites. They're, they're vegans. Vegans are not healthy. Tell me how many healthy vegan people you know. You can look at them and tell they're not healthy. But they've been brainwashed to believe, don't eat meat. You know, you're, we come from the earth, everything of the earth, the plants, you know, we use the same nutrients. We need all that stuff. So I think the, they have, they have um, medically brainwashed people is what I think. And I'm hearing a lot of stuff about cholesterol. I, I seen a video the other day where a, a guy, a young guy, he had high cholesterol and he did a test and he ate 12 Oreos and his cholesterol went down. What's up with that? And why does our food taste like shit nowadays? You took out the good fat and you put in the stuff that makes everything taste like garbage. They're destroying your health and they're destroying your psychology and they're doing it for a reason. If we want our country, we have to uh, speak out. Speak out wherever you can. Uh, just want, Just the right person needs to hear your voice. And know that they're not alone. Sex changing children, brainwashing people to think that people can change their sex, and now brainwashing us to believe that all the people in America should be sporting every Tom and Dick and Harry from around the world and be happy about it. And then the, the governors get on there whining and crying. Brandon, John, Brandon Johnson, you know, he's in the hospital for panic attacks. You know there's somebody older than him telling him, well, you're the mayor now you got to figure it out. He's a young guy. He doesn't have a clue. He's, he, does he even have kids? Uh, pay attention to who you're voting for in your governor's races. Believe me, I'm going up and down my ballots from uh, school boards all the way up. And if it's anything that says it stands for women's rights, it's a no. If it's anything that says that um, well, I should say, if it's anything that says they stand for st st for women's rights and the rights of transgendering children, that is an absolute no. It's a no-go. If you're a young mother, I can tell you, I'm an old mother. Your responsibility in life is to raise your child to adulthood and not fuck them up too bad. That's your whole job, is to keep them alive and keep them as mentally, you know, content is possible. And if your kid is going to school and getting bullied, the school's not going to do anything to protect your kid. That's what people in America need to realize. They're taking away your parental rights while at the same time not proving that they can do any better job than you can. The schools in my area, you can just still walk right in. No big deal. You tell me how that's protecting the kids of America. They're getting the shaft in every way they can because the powers that be don't want them to grow up into mentally adjusted adults. They want them all screwed up because they're easier to take over and they're easier to brainwash. We've been brainwashed as a nation.